Hey, my name is Mark. I work on the Adobe Adobe team. Uh, this is a follow-up to uh, the video that my colleague Dylan did, uh, where he showed the Slate application publishing a Slate article to DPS, uh, and then having it having it displayed in the uh, in the DPS viewer. We got together and we were like, okay, well, if you can do that with DPS, we wanted to do. Uh, and this is uh, Dave and I, who also works on the Adobe Adobe team. Uh, Dave and I wanted to do a demo of Slate publishing to AEM. So publishing a Slate story to an AEM site and having uh, the context of the AEM site still be still be intact. So having a, a custom header um, and a custom footer and navigation links and everything like that. So like kind of like a news feed uh, approach that we want to do. The case for this would be someone who had zero experience using AM authoring, but they wanted to still leverage an AM site. So picture a news site or some kind of news organization. Uh, you had content authors and content publishers that are, are subject matters in the field and they're out there and they're doing stuff. They, they don't really have the time to log into like, you know, an, an internal AM site and learn the authoring experience and all that good stuff, but they do want to create these stories. So, and Slate is a perfect example of how they can do that. So what we did was created a, an importer for someone to be able to, to publish a Slate story from their iPad to an AM uh, server. And this is a couple things here. Um, I have, I have a, a demo Slate story that I made. And some of the cool stuff that we did was also, uh, if, I, if I go down here and I want to add a photo, You'll, you'll see on the right, you know, you have the, the usual fine photos, my iPad, all that stuff. But we also want to leverage AEM assets because that's like a, a big thing that AEM has. So if you go into AEM, this pulls in assets that are in the, on the AEM server so that the person can use on their, their Slate story. So uh, I'm going to select this one of us messing around with an Arduino board. Um, and be like, yeah, this is cool. This was fun. And I'm going to be like, okay, my story looks good here. Uh, it's very simple. And I'm going to publish this. When I publish this, you'll notice down at the bottom, I have this new um, AEM icon here. When I push the, A the AEM icon, I hit continue. Uh, this is, there's a configuration screen that I kind of skipped over that you specify your, your AEM server. Uh, this is going to upload it to my, my AEM server that I have. Uh, it says like, great, you know, it has been published to AEM. I'm going to hit done. Then I'm going to tab over to my desktop. Um, and you'll see this is my fake Slate News website. Uh, I have like a, a customer header up here. Uh, it's very simple. But I have like some links up at the top. And also you can see some existing stories that have already been published. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh. If I scroll down here, you now see the new story that was published to Slate. Um, or sorry, 2 AEM, this is an AEM server. Uh, and, and just to, to tab over to the administration side here, I'll show you the, the, the view. It creates a new page, um, and I can actually go to this page now and click on it, and it loads the Slate story in the same context. So like, my, my header still exists, you know, I still have the AEM kind of, or like my site branding that I want to have on this. But I still have all the things that Slate offers. So it's, you know, here's my story that we just made. These are assets being used, being pulled in from AEM. And uh, yeah, so this is, this is the, the quick and dirty demo of, of what we put together. Uh, just to kind of show off the, the power that you have uh, using Slate and a content management system.